So, do you still remember this game? At the beginning, the Cycle Frontier looked like the next big thing. We had Shroud played, many other big streamers, and we actually reached 40k peak players on Steam. However, that quickly ended. The cheaters took over the Cycle Frontier. Ah, oh, cheater, I think. Oh, GG. Cheater coming for the Basilisk. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I called it, man. Ah. But that was season 1. And on the March 29th, we are getting already a season 3. And let me tell you, this season changes everything. Let's talk about all the changes since season 1, because there is a lot of them. First, the anti-cheat improvements. Devs did a huge ton of work to prevent cheaters, and this includes cheater compensation, so if you die to a cheater and the cheater gets later banned, you will get all your gear back, which is amazing, and I don't know why games like Tarkov don't have this, because this feature makes it way less frustrating. There is also shielded matchmaking and trusted status, to keep the cheaters away from your games. The second most important thing I wanna mention is that Season 3 will be the last wipe. Yes, you heard it correctly. This game will no more have wipes after Season 3. You will be able to self-wipe, but no more forced wipes. This also brings the rework of the whole quest system and adds a new endgame quests. If you didn't play since the Season 1, well in Season 2 we got a new map called Tyrus Island, where you can go deep into the caves where you can craft armor or enhance your armor with special abilities. Season 3 also added a new flying miniboss, the Howler. I cannot wait to try and fight this thing. Great addition is also free loadout runs, so you'll be able to get free loadout from each faction to get into the game. Matchmaking got also huge adjustments. If you play solo on Bright Sands, you will only meet other solo players, and if you play other maps, you can meet max duos. No more solo against trio. There is so much more like the new Prospect Station rework, the Balance rework, new MK1 and MK2 weapons, and many quality of life improvements. So I highly recommend you to try this game again in Season 3, because after all, the game is free to play, and there is no other game that's looter shooter on the market that's free to play. I will be playing this game a lot, because with Season 3 there is also Twitch drops, so you can come and watch me on Twitch. Now let me show you some gameplay from Season 2, so you can get more familiar with the game and the PvP. Well, a quick recap for people that never saw this game before. You have basically three factions where you can buy their weapons, you have your own prospect quarters where you can upgrade stuff, there is also battle pass, skins, there is your inventory system. It's very simple, not like in Tarkov, very simple, it's ba based on weight. There is also character customization, you can customize it your skins. As you can see there is emotes, a lot of stuff. There is the quests and there is the shop with the skins. As you can see the inventory system is very simple. You can apply skins on weapons, you can apply attachments. There is also a forge where you can repair your stuff. Or craft any items, materials, attachments, anything you want. But yeah, without waiting. Now you'll see how fast can you get into the game with no edits. So, you go to terminal and you select one of the maps. I like to play Bright Sands because it's the most balanced one, it's 1v1s. So, I'll go select map, ensure my weapons if I don't wanna lose them. Continue. And look how long it takes from pressing deploy and actually loading to the game. There we go, and I'm spawning in, it took, it took like 10 seconds. And it's made like this, because every server lasts up to 6 hours. But players can spawn in any time. Okay, and I spawn in. As you can see other people spawning in. But yeah, the players can spawn in any time, unless it's storm. You cannot spawn in storm. But yeah, this is what I love in this game. You can get insta games, no need to wait for the game. Inventory system is very fast, unlike Tarkov. So, I, I like Tarkov, yes. Don't get me wrong, the gunplay, the game is amazing, but honestly my biggest problem is the inventory system, the, lo the long loading times and the movement. This game has all, all the things but better, at least up to me, prefer it more. But there's someone spawned here so I need to be a bit more careful. Also for people that don't have voice chat, well, there is proximity voice chat, but you can also use, wait, not this button. Oh, if you press Alt, you can actually use Who's there? emotes in game. Moving over. Talk to people. Appreciate it. So that's also a great thing you can use if you don't wanna talk in voice chat. There is also live events happening. 
like those meteorites. Those can happen anytime in the match, and you can go there actually loot that. And they sell for quite a lot. You might need some for quest, but yeah, those random events are also very nice. Oh, he got shot. Hey, okay, I had shot at him. He must be 1 HP. Why as well? Okay. okay, that was a close one. But yeah, Arbiter is very strong. Oh, there's another player. It's on me. <laughs> it's in the bush there. A grenade, okay, okay. There is that shot. He will be pushing now, no? It's hard to see in the bush there. That's a rank. There we go. <laughs> There we go, there we go. Gave him head, gave him the headshot back and then he was only one shot. But yeah, those weapons and those armors are pretty endgame. You will not see that in season 3 on launch, obviously. Someone is trying to rush me on extraction. Red armor. Red armor is scary. Yes, that's why it's scary. <laughs> this guy. As you can see, he was playing one of the legendary weapons, Comrade, and he just won't tap me, so good for him. <laughs> so many Oof, that was close one She actually headshot me mid there, I think Oh, there, this is Arbiter Which I'm probably gonna take instead of my Basilisk It's like a one-shot weapon This is more like a DMR Poor guy had a white shield. Got one tapped. Oh no. Sorry, man. Sorry. Oh, player. I don't know what he has. Let's go. I didn't expect that one. <laughs> what? Almost knifed me. Yeah, I thought the AI, you know, I thought he went up. That's why the AI. Well, lucky me. Because, yes, you can actually two tap anyone with heavy attack, I think. So, even me, is wallet option. Damn, I wonder what's inside this building. 
Oh shit! Wait, what? I see. Nice. Get on the grey. Ah. Oh. Poor guy, poor guy. 